Hello folks, welcome to Saving Miller. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's really important if you're going to do rotational grazing, especially with cows. So, the, the easiest way to control cattle and where they go is with electric fence like this. So this is a poly wire, and we have a fence reel here. This is the first one that I purchased, and I got it from uh, Premier One Fencing. So they have a lot of different options, and this is one of the cheaper ones, and I thought, you know, I don't need anything fancy. I'll go with something basic. So I got this thing, and I was pretty quickly frustrated. This hook looks nice and everything, but it's actually very difficult to hook onto a hog panel fence. Like, it's, it's almost there, but you have to hold it just right to get it on there. So very frustrating. And we've got this kind of uh, perimeter fence all around, so it would be really useful for that. Um, the other thing, you know, the reel is pretty stout, and it'll hold quite a bit of, of fencing, but the locking mechanism here is, is just terrible. Like, you can't get it to lock. You have to have the pin lined up just right on the other side so that it will inset itself in there to lock it. And... You know, I mean, it, it, it functions. It really does. This one, okay, maybe it functions. There, so now it's locked. So, this thing is pretty robust. It's, it's built really well. But it does not have any kind of gearing. So, for each revolution that you have, you know, you have to go and... Um, one complete revolution. So you, you can't really reel up fence very fast. And I thought, well, I've got a small property. It's not a big deal. Well, it actually is kind of a big deal. It's frustrating to be that slow. But I started out with this one. So I'm going to unre unreel this one. And we're going to move the cows a little bit. This is how we manage them. Okay, now on this side, there's a chain link fence, and I can't even hook it on here. Very frustrating to me. I don't know why someone would put a hook on there that you can't even use. You know, if you can get it in there, it works, but I'm going to have to reel this up and turn the fence around. So that gives you an idea of how this one works. So, like I said, this is the first one that I bought, and, you know, if you're doing a lot of fence, you got to really crank away at it. It also doesn't have a guide, so if you're not paying attention, like I wasn't just now, you know, that wire will come off of there and it'll kind of snag on there. So that's always a nuisance. <clears throat> so you can crank at walking speed. It's not too bad, especially when there's some wire on the reel like this. It's a little fatter, so it goes a little faster because you have a, a bigger circumference. Per revolution. So this one, it works all right. Put that thing back on the fence. So I had this one and I needed more. So ideally for us, we need three reels. We usually have two in use and then we have one for, for backup, you know, if we need to change uh, the paddock size or something like that. So, let me show you the one that I do recommend. Now the cows don't know this thing's not hot, so I'm going to put this across the opening to keep them from checking things out. Move back, buddy. Come on. Okay, now this one costs a few dollars more, but this one is fantastic. I think the construction is not quite as robust. It has a couple more fragile parts to it. It does have a guide, and the guide works really well. Um, it's not 
you know, it's, it's good plastic, but it's not super robust, so you can't just drop it on the ground. And then to secure the reel, it has this, this catch here with the teeth and, so, and another plastic catch up here to hold it up. So when you want to unreel it, you, you know, put it up there and it holds it in place. The handle is pretty nice, so you can handle this thing even if it's hot, even if there's a charger on it. And holds quite a bit, about the same as the other one. But that's how it looks on the outside. Now, this one, as opposed to the other one, has a fantastic hook. Look at that. So, I, I want to clarify that this is my preference because of my fencing. If you have a lot of T-posts, the other one actually works better. This hook is useless for T-posts. So, the other one, uh, you can get a little bracket that sits on a T-post and you can hang it on there very nicely. This one is no good for T-posts. So you want to, you know, make that uh, distinction there. So in this case, these also come with these handles and I really like these. These give you both options. You can tie the fence onto the plastic end here and it won't electrify on this end. So you could hook it on a fence like this and it would be just fine. Now, on the other hand, I usually do electrify it. And so I've got it wrapped around the, the uh, core in there so I can actually electrify uh, through here. And that works really well. Great flexibility. I really like these. And I might, you know, if I needed more, I would buy some more of these. So let's see how nicely this one re reels or strings out and winds up. Come on. You guys need to be on the other side. I'll get you more hay or more grass. Okay, now you see how fast this handle's going around? You can't walk fast enough to make this one uh, slow. So, because I'm going to string this out, I'll show you. It's easy. Easy, easy to wind up fence in a hurry. So, I really like this one. I'm going to set this one up and we'll see how it works on the chain link fence. So now, put the catch down, and it hooks on a chain link fence very nicely. I really, I really like these. I wish I had three of these instead of that one. I've got, I do have two of these that I use all the time, and I, pr because they just work better, I prefer these over the black one. The black one, I just use in some cases, you know, if I'm trying to move the cows or something like that. So I will put a link in the description to both of these. It, depending on your application, you might actually really like the black one, but I have to touch one of these pretty much every day. So for me, this one is much more usable. It's fast. It's efficient. I really like these. Funny enough, Greg Judy also really likes these. So he, he says this is the, the one to go with. I received no compensation whatsoever. I already have these. I don't need one. This review is of a product that I purchased about a year and a half ago. I've actively used it on the farm. That's how old this thing is, by the way. Um, still in great condition. I've had no issues with it. Even though I mentioned some of these, you know, plastic parts, I was a little worried about them. But honestly, it's held up really well. There's no rust. You know, the galvanized coating is really good. Um, it has protected the wire. And so this is, this is what I recommend for um, for managing this poly fencing that you're moving on a regular basis. So, if you like the reviews, definitely leave a comment, like the video. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe there's a better one out there. I'd like to hear about it, but I'm actually quite satisfied with this one. I'm not really looking for anything else. <clears throat> so that's my thoughts on the uh, fence reels. Save the Miller out.